Does anybody know of a dark blue state that's gaining population? California, losing. Illinois, losing. Michigan, losing. New York, losing. New Jersey, losing. Wow, what does that tell you? People speak with their feet. It's called federalism. It's called mobility. What states are gaining? Well, let's see. Florida, ooh. Tennessee, ooh. Texas, wow. And some others where they're relatively moderate. They don't have income taxes and so forth. But the dark blue cities and the dark blue states, people can't get the hell out of there fast enough. It's a sad day in America. And you can thank the Democrat Party. These cities are controlled hook, line, and sinker with an iron fist by the Democrat Party, by the American Marxists in these parties. And so here is a business owner in Chicago, Illinois, in the, one of the ritziest parts of Chicago. And take a look. Go. It is the brazen work of thieves in broad daylight, disrupting Chicago's Gold Coast neighborhood. Burglars targeting a luxury car dealership. But it was not the vehicles that these guys were after. CBS 2's Stephen Graves live near the Rolls-Royce dealership. And Stephen, the store owner's really fired up. Marie, that is an understatement. He admitted he does not like to do TV interviews, but he wanted to talk to us today because he is fed up wanting changes at the top and fast. To walk into my business and crash in the windows and one guy stands with a gun and we have to have this happen, enough is enough. Rolls-Royce dealership owner Joe Perillo furious after this. The fast smash and grab happening within seconds. You see the burglar casually walk inside the Gold Coast store on Rush around noon. Workers say he and an accomplice weren't after luxury cars, instead smashing glass of a jewelry display with a hammer, getting away with several expensive watches. Store salesmen even ran after them with their guns drawn. Absolutely. Well, you can't take something that's not yours. Some even shielding families from the mayhem. I mean, you literally you take the, the people and you try to hide them. Chicago police say the suspects eventually got away in a vehicle. This narrative probably sounds familiar because our recent CBS2 reports have followed several high-end store burglaries, many along Chicago's Magnificent Mile. But this one in Oak Brook, even more shocking, showing a flash mob darting in and out quickly. Perilla wants it to stop and thinks that starts in Chicago. Cook County prosecutors and city leadership holding criminals accountable. It's only a fool who keeps doing things the same way and expects different results. If the mayor and Kim Fox don't do anything to get control of this, it's not going to get better, it's going to get worse. Experts previously telling us burglaries like this could affect tourism and to make people hesitant to come downtown. That is the last thing Perillo wants in a city. He says he loves and calls home. But right now it's turning into Palookaville. In my home city of Philadelphia, a complete disaster. It's such a disaster, we talked about this, that the former Democrat mayor and African-American took to the pages of the Philadelphia Inquirer to write an op-ed after the district attorney, a white man, radical leftist Soros prosecutor, said, what are you talking about? Crime's not going up in this city. So they'll take things like petty things and add it together with murder and rape and assault and say, see, crime's not going up. Everybody knows it's going up and people don't want to go into these cities unless they absolutely must. And there's people who live in these cities who have to deal with this, who have to deal with this. So it's these white liberals that maybe some people should be focusing on, not white people generally, who share their values and their ideals and believe in family and safety and health and all the rest of it. That's what's happening here. It's these Marxists, these American Marxists. I see Black Lives Matter is endorsing criminality. You see this stuff? Black Lives Matter sticking with Smollett. Black Lives Matter doesn't give a damn about black lives. It is a Marxist, racist organization that has nothing in common with common people of any race, let alone blacks. Nothing in common with common people. Black people in this country, they don't want Marxism any more than brown people or yellow people or red people or white people. Look how we have to talk about each other. Americans don't want Marxism, red-blooded Americans. And yet this is the push dressed up as racism. So I would ask these corporatists, you happy now? You happy you backed Biden? You happy you endorsed and gave money to Black Lives Matter that supports this sort of crap? 
What a bunch of jerks. What a bunch of cowards. For all this and much more, sign up for Levin TV.